somewhere along the banks of the Merrimack River in New Hampshire. The sun is setting. It is October 31st, Halloween, time of year when the barrier between the living and the dead is thinnest. I think Halloween and haunted houses give people an opportunity to be something that they're not. You know, you can dress up and be somebody else. <laughs> Just like the customer can come to our show and if they had a bad day at work, they're gonna forget about that once they're with us. Our job is to take these people out of reality, put them into our reality, and now they're thinking about what's happening in front of them. They really know nothing's gonna happen to them, you know, but it's still that adrenaline rush, you know, what if? It's like getting on a roller coaster. My name is Mike Crossert, and I'm the director of Spooky World and Nightmare New England. And I've been in the Halloween and haunted house industry for 23 years now. You know, the name Spooky World in New England, everyone knows that name. It's like Kleenex when you think tissue. It was started by a gentleman named David Bertolino, um, and it started in Berlin, Massachusetts, and I believe it about 22 years ago. When it started, it was kind of the first of its kind. It was, it was the first kind of big screen park and definitely one that worked with a lot of celebrities. Um, it was kind of known for that, um, bringing in celebrities and working with celebrities. And also just the marketing genius that Dave Bertolino is, it really turned you know, Spooky World into one of the largest Halloween events in the country, if not the world. I got my start a little bit differently than a lot of people in the industry get their start. A lot of people that I know started home haunting. They start in their yards and decorating and you know, over time, their, it, their yard doesn't allow them the space that they want. When I was 17, a friend of mine came up to me and said, hey, I'm volunteering at this local haunted house. You want to come out? And I knew of the haunted house, and I loved going there. So I showed up and immediately clicked with everyone working there. I actually got to build a small-scale small scene that first year. There were crickets and bugs and stuff in, like live ones. And I was really proud of that scene, and um, the gentleman who used to run that haunted house and, and do all the set decorating, Steve, you know, right off the bat was like, do you want to join our team? And I was hooked. Acting was the icing on the cake. That was the prize at the end of the season, was being able to then dress up and really enjoy your work and be part of what you created. I acted for many, many, many years, so I, I know what a toll it takes on our actors. So, you know, I have a connection with the actors there and I, I know, you know, what they're going through and, and what it takes. It, it's something that's still dear dear to me. I love seeing what our actors create and I still love to create, you know, and, and that's why building this facade and this backstory has started to give me more of that. What I've been missing is that creation and wanting to create more. An original concept versus, you know, a theme that's already been done, you know, as far as like, a movie or a, a certain character. I think it challenges our actors to become their characters. They have to create a character. They can't just wear, you know, a Freddy Krueger costume, for example, or they can't be Elvira or they can't be Michael Myers. I, to me, to me, that's too easy. To me, it's not scary. Having an original idea, coming up with our own costumes, coming up with our own characters, keeps you unique and it separates you and I feel as though if people are coming to see us they should see something that's unique and they should see something that's different. It's our job to to take people out of reality so if we can do that by creating these characters that are more believable versus ones that you've seen that are made up and on, on the big screen then I think you know, people connect with that more, and I think it's a lot more terrifying when it's something that people don't know. And we have a lot of new actors every year, and we have a lot of veterans, and the veterans are really good at creating costumes, creating characters, and having a reason for those characters and those costumes. They, they, it's not like they're just making a costume, making a mask, and then that's it. 
These characters have names, they have backstories, they have ages, they have, you know, where they came from and why and who they are. Because it's, it's a very difficult job. It's a demanding job. It takes a lot out of you, um, energy-wise. You are face-to-face -face in the dark, this close, to thousands of strangers every night. Um, so I think when, when you become a character, when you have an identity, it lends itself to really, you know, upping your game. Um, versus, and, and granted, we still have costumes that we create and masks that we create, and you know, just because we have so many actors. But more and more, we're noticing now that our, our actors, our core, are growing with us as they create their costumes. We, we've seen some really unbelievable characters this year. So we're gonna continue to do it just to help our, our staff evolve and grow. Every part of this is creation. Every part of this is creativity. Um, you know, wardrobe, our wardrobe department creates costumes. Our actors create characters. Our build crew creates this atmosphere in, in these buildings. Um, our lighting and sound create this other level, you know. So I, that's what I've always loved about it is the creativity of, of this industry and the people in it. Working with these creative, passionate people that I get to work with has always been what's fun for me and important to me. So I think creativity and creation would be the way I, I sum it up. Halloween just is my life and every day I'm, I'm reading about it or I'm talking about it. It's magical to me. Um, I, I love the history in New England um, and how people feel about Halloween here. I don't think there's any other place in the world that is like New England when it comes to Halloween. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I've gotten to, you know, basically work in the field that I work in and, and work around Halloween and haunted houses. And um, I'm grateful for that every day. And I don't take that for granted. And that's why I want to continue to learn and get better at what I do and, and work with the people around me that are passionate about that too.